Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Donna, for those of you who are new here. Um, welcome to Makeup Less <laughs> Sunday. I think I've got some eyeliner on in there, but Sundays are the day that I do all of my laundry, all of my house cleaning, and um, I just don't feel like putting on a full face of makeup before that. I did put eyeliner on because I did go out today. I went to Albertsons and bought um, a succulent and a card for one of my partners that's leaving. Um, and that was a real sad thing, but uh, that's a whole nother story. Um, also, welcome to my basement. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that we're thinking about making this my beauty slash craft room. My um, man friend is wanting to start a drone something or other, so in order for him to do that, he also needs his own room for the drone business thing that he wants to start. So, um, trying to find a good lighting-esque thing in this house is like crazy but I did buy a little like selfie light and it it's not really amazing I feel like I'm washed out most of the time um I did a get ready with me the other day with it and um I haven't posted it yet but I will and I feel like I was a little like I was washed out so much so that it didn't really matter what I was doing you couldn't really see it so um without further ado let's get into today's content i am doing a haul video and i've got some paparazzi and some ulta um jewelry is my second love um used to be my first love now it's my second love but it runs a very close second um i'm gonna do that first because i feel like it's easier to get through um, my mom sells paparazzi jewelry and I purchase a lot from her. It's $5 for each piece. Um, I will link her Facebook page down below so that you guys can go online and check her stuff out. And maybe if you see something you like that I've got, you can go see if you can find something that she has that you'll like roughly around the same thought process. Um, so the first thing that I have is a few um, wrap bracelets. Now a wrap bracelet looks like this. And I did pick up this one as one of the braided ones and you just basically put it around your wrist. Ooh, can't figure it out. Put it around your wrist and snap it. It's got snaps on the one side. You snap it and it's a bracelet. And it's a really pretty bracelet. Um, I bought three of those. I got this one and this one, which is like two-tone. It's got two different color jewels in it. It's got the black M, the diamond-esque colors. This one I actually bought for my five-year-old daughter. It is yellow. Um, she loved it, so I did get that for her. Um, next thing I got was a little ankle bracelet for me um we're not allowed to wear anything at work that's on our um hands or wrists so i couldn't buy a bracelet for my wrist so i did buy this one for my ankle that one's just a real simple one with a real real pretty it kind of reminds me of a turtle but it's not really it's not a turtle it's just a um just a jewel encrusted disc um i also bought these for my five-year-old daughter they're just purple stretchy band bracelets and they have quite a bit of little kid stuff that you can buy um from them as well um i got these earrings which are called um what are they called and they're called Go On and Sparkle Brass Earrings. And that's what they look like. Um, just really pretty brass earrings with some yellow stones in them. Um, I also got these ones, which are called Gather Round Silver Earrings. Really pretty hoop esque earrings with the pretty balls on them. Um, I got this pair, which kind of crowded in this package, so I'm going to let them hang down a little bit. 
me show you guys. So those are, have purple and green stones in them. Um, on a silver, kind of a silver freak. Um, and they are called Thailand Tourist Multi Earrings. I got these ones. Can you see those? Those are called I Will Grant You Three Wishes Silver Earrings. I got this is another bracelet that I picked up for an anklet. I'm super excited about this guy. Um, really cute little stone encrusted heart. It's called Wearing My Heart on My Sleeve. Um, and um, they've all their bracelets have these little three inch extension thing, all their metal bracelets, three inch extension like line so that you can wear them as anklets too. Then I got these earrings. They're called Paris After Midnight Pink Earrings. So like the little balls on there are pink and then there's some little white stones in there too. And last but not least from Paparazzi, I got these earrings. I'm actually pretty excited about these earrings. I like these ones a lot. And they are called Beverly Hills Princess Blue Earrings. So those are like a midnight blue um, little bubble on there. So that's everything I got from Paparazzi. And that's a pretty pink bag. And like I said, I will link my mom's page down below so that you guys can um, see maybe what she has to offer. Maybe you'll want something. I know I have quite a few friends that always are complimenting my earrings. So um, I can assure you, you would also get compliments on your earrings or necklaces. They sell bracelets, necklaces, headbands, um, all kinds of stuff. So now let's get into my Ulta purchase. Goodness, which way is my hair going? Um, so this is something that I have um, been eyeballing for quite some time and I really needed to see it on my skin in order to justify the purchase because I didn't know if it would quite go um, with my skin tone and being old -er. <laughs> I didn't I didn't know if I could do the colors so I got the Anastasia Aurora Glow Kit um, this is it folks you open it up and it's got those uh, beautiful colors in there um, one of my favorites is Luna and I also have done um, wondrous things with Spectra and Ryan down here this blue um, I did s do some swatches for you but because my lighting is horrible I'm not sure that you'll be able to see them I did test before um, I started videoing. I hope that you can see them, but I'm not sure that you can. So here we're going to try. All right. It looks like you're going to be able to see them. Okay, so let's see. This one right here is Eclipse. This one right here, can you guys see that, is Luna. Um, this one right here is Spectra and then we have um, Helia and then we have Orion right there and then we have Lyra right there so I mean those are some beautiful colors can you guys see all those beautiful colors I'm super excited about it um, and you know I have worn the purple one on the skin and it doesn't really look purple. I mean, it, it has a purple shift to it when the sun hits it just right. Um, but other than that, it doesn't look like overpowering. Um, but with that, I got a nice little freebies, you know, their samples. Um, I got Anastasia's um, dip brow pomade uh, samples. And then I, which I'm just getting into brow products, so I'm not sure I'm going to use dip brow. Um, but maybe we'll try it. I'm not going to say no. Um, and then I got this color um, lip gloss in sepia. And I'm going to swatch that for you. Right there. It is kind of a brownish color. 
Um, I have worn it though, and it looks real fantastic on my skin tone. So um, I'm usually pretty fair right now. I'm a little tan, so it looks real good. Um, another thing I got was a Goof Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil. Um, now let me tell you something. I have sworn up and down since day one that brow products was not where my money was going to be spent because I felt like the e.l.f. brow pencils have always been um, real good to me. There was no reason to get anything that cost more than three dollars because I had no problem with the brow pencil that e.l.f. provides. But this guy in number four, shade four, um, is a color that matches my hair better um, than taupe <laughs> in, um, in e.l.f. products. And I feel like that's the closest I can get to match my hair in e.l.f. products. If they had like an auburn or a medium brown, that would be super, but they have like taupe, brown, dark ish, blackish, darker than brown. And the brown is just way too dark for me. Um, the next thing I got was this Too Faced Melted Liquified Longwear Lipstick in Berry. I'll go ahead and swatch that for you. I have used it. Um, it's kind of a color that's outside of my comfort zone, but I love it. And the other day I put it on and then put on, um, a buxom color that I have had for years probably have had for so long it should have been thrown away a long time ago um, but I loved it and the two together were an amazing color so this is that berry color um, I really do like it it is a little dark a little more red than I'm used to and a little more red than I definitely like um, but I love it um, the last thing I uh, well, not last thing, but the last liquid lipstick I got was actually this NYX Liquid Suede Creme Lipstick in Run for or Run the World. It is very purple. I don't know if this color is coming off very purple in the screen. Um, it definitely doesn't look like it's coming off as purple as it is in the screen on my end of it. But this is the color. This is the color right here. Um, it is purple. It is definitely purple. Um, I didn't really get that for me. I got it for my five-year-old daughter because, you know, we were in Ulta and she wanted something. So I told her to pick something out and that is what she picked. And let me tell you something, people. You put this stuff on. It does not want to come off. My five-year-old had it all over her face and I tried to get it off and that stuff wants to stay. So, I mean, if nothing else, I can tell you this stuff is not going anywhere. This NYX liquid suede, not going anywhere. Great liquid lipstick for you. Um, and I like you because I have another one. I have a Buxom liquid, a uh, full on lip cream um, in Dolly. Now, like I said, the one that I currently have um, that I have had for years, so old, it's so old that all of this writing on this this package is gone. It's gone. So it, need, it needs to be tossed. It really does. Um, but I needed a new buxom color before I tossed it, and this one's just real subtle. Um, I'm not sure that I'm 100% sold on this color. I thought it was closer to the color that I currently have. Like I said, all the writing on the color I currently have is gone, so I can't, I don't even know what color it was, but, um, I do, it's pretty, so we're going to try it. Um, another thing I got was this IT Cosmetics, um, brushes for Ulta in the Airbrush Blending Crease Brush number 105. Now this guy is dirty. I did use him the other day to do my makeup yesterday to do my makeup and um, I haven't washed them yet that's another thing that I do on Sundays is wash my brushes you should wash your brushes every day and um, what I loved about this brush is these brushes come in these um, 
in these containers that pop over the top and close. So that was really cool because if you um, are traveling, you can keep it with that brush and that brush won't get grimy, it won't get dirty. Yeah, it just stays. Um, I got a Too Faced uh, sketch marker in um, Deep Espresso, so it's a brown liquid um, liner, and I do think that it is amazing. Um, that's it right there. It is super, super fine. Um, this is the tip on it, and it's like a, it's like a felt tip marker. It's um, makes it easy, makes it real easy uh, to do your eyeliner. And um, sometimes you have those looks that you really can't do a black liquid eyeliner with because it's just, you know, your look is more natural and you need, and really I feel like brown is so much softer. Even if it's a liquid liner, it's so much softer than a black liquid liner that's just very stark and right there. And, um, and I've heard a lot of good things about these Too Faced sketch markers and they have these in like 18 different colors. Okay, maybe not 18, but they have them in quite a few different colors. And because I have used this already and I love it, I think I'm going to get some other ones because they are very cool. Um, something I picked up by accident is this Laura Geller um, Spackle. It's tinted in ethereal makeup primer. Um, I say accident because I use a Laura Geller makeup primer, but it is the green one, the color correcting one, and that is the one that I thought I was picking up. This one was um, on the shelf where the green one was that was the um, sample, the For You sample, and I just picked up a box out from behind it, stuck it in my thing, took it up there, paid for it, got it out of the bag when I got home and was like, oh my gosh, this isn't, this isn't what I wanted. Then I had to go through the thought process of taking it back because we don't have an Ulta here where I live. We don't. And I didn't want, I was out of town. I didn't want to go back the next day because I was leaving town the next day. Um, and I didn't want to have to go back. So I was debating on whether to take it back or not. So I watched some videos on YouTube and I decided that I actually think I kind of dig it. I'm going to try it. Um, it's says it has um, witch hazel extract to help tone while soothing extracts of aloe vera and chamomile help calm skin, antioxidant, centella, I don't know, I don't know what that is, and white tea extracts provide protection. Skin looks healthy, radiant, and gorgeous. And from the videos that I saw on YouTube, they actually did look pretty with no other makeup on. They look beautiful with this on, so I'm gonna try it. Um, another thing I guess I picked up on purpose, but didn't really realize what it was. Um, my sister talked me into it, and I've heard a lot of good things about it on YouTube, but I guess I didn't realize that it was full coverage, is this. Um, it, Cosmetics, uh, Your Skin But Better CC Plus Cream. Duh, right? Duh, Donna. It's says right here <laughs> color correcting full coverage <laughs> full coverage cream um so again thought about taking this back because I don't typically use foundations I don't like all that cakey makeup on my skin um I feel like I have a really good complexion I feel like it's not gonna stay that way if I start using this kind of stuff um but here's the deal like I've heard really good things about this. Um, it is anti-aging. It is a hydrating serum. It does have SPF 50. I think that I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. I'm not going to take it back. I'm not going to send it back. I'm not going to drive the two hours to get to my nearest Ulta to exchange it. I'm just going to keep it because in the fall I can start wearing you know, heavier makeups and I guess feel a little better about wearing heavier makeups and my skin routine is so much better than it was when I first started in this whole makeup venture. I really feel like my skin is not going to hate me 
for putting on a your skin but better CC cream. So I'm gonna keep it. Um, I also got this Mario Badescu facial spray with aloe, cucumber, and green tea. I got this to go into my purse because throughout the day, I hear that if you set a making, you know, if you um, spray a, make, a setting spray, holy crap, use your words, Donna. If you use a setting spray <laughs> throughout the day, then your makeup tends to look um, fresher all day long. And while I do use a setting spray, I didn't have one that I used all day, and I certainly wasn't going to carry my giant bottle around with me all day long. So, I bought that one to go in my purse. I'm super excited to try it. I've heard really good things about Mario Badescu. I've actually been looking into some of his skincare stuff, too. So, um, I currently use Origins, but I need to change that um, because Origins isn't cruelty-free, and I'm trying to steer away from using anything cruelty free so or steer away from using anything that isn't cruelty free yep that's it um the last thing I picked up from Ulta is just something to replace what I ran out of and that is Urban Decay All Nighter Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray who doesn't use this um actually a lot of people a lot of people use MAC um their MAC Fix Plus I don't use MAC, again, cruelty-free thing, but also because I like the Urban Decay stuff. I like it a lot. Um, I've never had a problem with it. I'm not 100% sold on the fact that I think that a setting spray will make your makeup last longer. I don't really necessarily think that that's true. Um, I think you kind of have the placebo effect because it's been hyped all over the place that makeup setting sprays help your makeup last longer. Uh, the reason why I say this is because I put makeup on Saturday and had a full face going on and woke up this morning after falling asleep with it on accidentally without taking my makeup off. Woke up this morning and had a full face of makeup still on. Um, one thing I did not use yesterday was a setting spray. Um, so with that being said, like I'm not 100% convinced, but it does make my skin feel better and it does make it look better. Um, so if that's what you're going for, then that's definitely something to invest in. Um, like I said, the Mario Badescu I got put in my purse because I feel like it will help my face feel fresher longer. Um, this says on the Urban Decay box, it says... Um, miss this weightless spray for makeup that lasts all day or all night in a seven day study of all nighter. 78% of participants said their all nighter helped their makeup last for 16 hours. Um, over 80% said their makeup not only looked better, it stayed on better even in the T zone, um, without setting into fine lines. And whether they had combination oily or dry skin, 88% or more said All Nighter was the best product to help their makeup last. So this is good for all skin types. It is proven through, um, through their little survey that it does help your makeup last. Um, my makeup when I woke up this morning probably could have looked better if I had had a setting spray on. Um, not necessarily saying you don't need it. Like I said, I do love it. Um, anyways, that's all I got for you. Um, if you love this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know that you liked it and you want to see more of it. If you liked me, please subscribe to my channel, hit the bell, let them know that you want notifications for all of the videos I post, which aren't many. Right now, I will tell you I am a super busy person, and um, I've done some haul videos. I've done a couple get ready with me's. Um, I do have videos that are sitting in my computer because I'm scared to death to put them up, but... Um, Please, please, please subscribe. Let me know that you love me. Let me know that you want to see more of me. Hit that notification bell. Let them know that you want to see more of my videos. And um, we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.